I'm still sitting here just fascinated by, by the whole startup thing and the venture capital thing. It's like, it just makes so much sense. And like, I mean, I, I, I've been around that community and you're right. I just, it's not something I've seen ever. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Real Agile or BS. Uh, my name is Peter Saddington, and I'm here with my colleague, Bob Hartman. We love Agile, and we love answering all of your frequently asked questions around Agile. And here's one that I'm really actually pretty passionate about. The question for today is, how do we make sure that everyone in the company, and I'm expanding the question out a little bit, but everyone can see the product backlog? Is this real Agile? Or is this BS? Bob, I'm passionate about this, but I'm going to let you take the first crack at it. Well, I think it's got to be real agile for the product backlog to be available to everybody in the company, to stakeholders, to potentially anybody who's going to be part of a sprint review. I, I think the more people that see it, the better the product will build. Um, my, I just hear so many ridiculous stories about it. Like, well, we don't want the executives to know what we might be up to why they're paying the bills, right? Uh, or we don't have enough licenses to allow them to look in our tool. I'm like, it's 30 bucks a month for a license. I mean, come on, really? Why are we doing this? It's it, in effect, you're hiding something. And as you and I both know, Peter Agile and Scrum are based on transparency, inspection, adaptation. That transparency part has to come first. If we're not being open and transparent about our product backlog, we're not being openly transparent about almost anything. That's that's the key to the kingdom, right? It's the input to the whole thing. If that's not transparent, what the heck are we going to do? I mean, that's just like it, it's the it's the wolves garden the chicken house type of situation. If we're not letting everybody look at it, absolutely. And, and, and what's fascinating to me because I, I I know you've seen this and I've seen this too is that when there is some type of opacity, when there's not there's non transparency around the backlog. But yet at the same time, the engineering and the development IT teams are complaining that the business doesn't trust them to build the right stuff. It's like, well, you're kind of shooting yourself in the kneecaps here by, by complaining that they, they don't trust you, but you're not giving that type of transparency. I uh, completely agree with you. It is real Agile 100% to show your backlog. We uh, In Agile, we like to use the terms information radiator, right? We want to have that information be radiated all throughout the company so that there is that transparency. But not only that, for me, I think it's even more important that everyone is aligned around what is happening, what's going on. I find it fascinating, especially with management, with the inputs that they have and leadership inputs that they have of what the team needs to do. Well, great. A, a transparent product backlog allows you, management and leadership, to add ideas into there. They'll be prioritized, they'll be discussed, they'll be broken down, and we can have shared understanding between development and business as to what you asked for and how we're going to actually be delivering this. I'll take a step farther in our product owner, in my product owner course, I spent a pretty good amount of time uh, talking with product owners about road showing their product backlog and the goals of the sprints. This is something that I think is actually pretty important for a product owner to do in terms of communicating to the overall organization what that product is, the value of it, the why, and what they're going to actually be getting out of it. I think it's great practice for a product owner to roadshow a product backlog and a product vision so that they learn how to communicate effectively what their teams are actually doing. So when it comes to transparency, product backlog, complete agile, Real Agile, I recommend everyone do it out there. It's fascinating. I get passionate about this because I have questions about this almost every training and every client engagement. It's like, who should the product backlog go to? Who should we reveal it to? Well, the answer is everybody. Yeah, and I think, Peter, it, it, you know, you said about the going on the road show with it. It, it. I would imagine for a startup trying to get funded, that would be interesting because you're showing that you have a, a vision, you're showing that you have an actual backlog to look at. And I think there's some competitive advantage of being a startup and, and showing that you understand agility as well. So I think that can go to a lot of different pieces that might get a venture capitalist interested. I hadn't even thought about that until you actually just mentioned that. So that's kind of cool. Oh, absolutely. Actually, uh, I'll, I'll give two tips for anyone that's made it this far in the video. Number one, if you're working with startups and you're looking for investment capital, creating in a backlog of the work is one of the, it's, it's something that VCs have actually never seen before. Usually there's this pitch deck 
and these overall high lofty goals. And then I need you to give me $5 million. How we do it is we say, hey, we want your $5 million, but here's everything that we're going to be doing. Here's everything that's broken down. And as you can probably imagine, that gives investors a lot more confidence that we've done our diligence. We understand what we're going to be building um, and so that they have more confidence to, to, give, to give us this money. So ab absolutely, absolutely. I'll give you another tip. When I, when I did more government contract work, now for those out there who've done government contract work, you know that whenever you re, you know, re reply from a SOW RFP, you, you basically end up in the same pot as all the other big companies, your SAICs, your L3s, your CSCs, your Boeings, your Lockheeds, right? I have found that giving a transparent backlog of the broken down requirements into user stories with pictures, by the way, of our backlog of breaking it down into that RFP or SOW is a better, you have a better chance of winning that contract because the GSA 13 on the other side is reading all of these requirements documents that are 50 pages long with zero pictures. If you add pictures in there of your backlog, I promise you, you'll win that, you'll have a higher chance of winning that contract. Tip number two. Interesting. Great. Those are great things. I mean, I, I'm still sitting here just fascinated by the whole startup thing and the venture capital thing. It's like, it just makes so much sense. And like, I mean, I, I, I've been around that community and you're right. I just, it's not something I've seen ever. Like they, they push the, the pitch deck, like you said, it's like, and you need a pitch deck. You need to get people interested. But then when they dig beneath the covers, if there's actually something there, how much better would that be? I, just, I, I love it. I like it. I think it's real agile and hadn't even thought of it from that perspective, but certainly in real companies, just exposing it even within your company so people can understand what you're building. That's, that's great because I mean, imagine you go into a big company and you say, oh, what are you building? You get 27 different answers. Nobody wants to be in that position. That, that, that's a real confidence booster, right? So exactly. if you can all give the same answer, that would be helpful. Exactly. Here's our source of truth. It's the product backlog. We want to make sure that everyone sees it. I think we're in accord here, Bob. It is definitely real agile. If you're out there and you need help in terms of, hey, how do I do this? How do I build the, the right backlog, Bob? How do I build the right backlog, Peter? How do I make it more enterprise transparent? Well, we're here to help. I'd love to invite all of our viewers out there to our new revamp, agileforall.com. And you can check out our new Agile community site there. Uh, you can ask us questions there. You can engage with us. And certainly, we'll be there to help you guys out. Let us know on the Agile community site. Or you can comment below. Subscribe, certainly. And we'd love a tweet or a social promotion from you guys out there. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time.